Monsters and Aliens. So what it'll do when it brings the movie up, it actually is checking to see where the theaters are on it. So down here you can go to the Orleans, you can go to the Brendan to find the theater on it. If you want to go through and see a trailer, we actually hooked it into our RSTP, our RSTP feed so we actually can go through, it'll come out, go to the internet, grab the download of it so you can actually play the trailers off the um, off Fandango in a different card on this um, device. Let's have it come up. You can see we've got a fairly decent frame rate on and it's sort of leveraging the processor we put in the device. So you get a very clear picture. Again, this is showing off the display we have on it. If you ever want to stop it, we'll actually pause it if you go to card view. So you actually have the video paused in place. All you do is actually click back on it, hit play again, and we'll just start up again. So really trying to give you a very interactive use of the device, taking a lot of different capabilities that we had on it in order to show, show off the device, show off the applications. Okay. Cool. So other things we've gone through, and this is sort of the looking here in Pandora. Pandora's a great app. I mean, you download, you set, the, set your stations, you watch the different music on it. Um, what they really focused on is looking at how they could bring their normal application down, but then use the notifications and leverage them to actually manage the tracks and get the information and see it like we just do our media player. So let's have the. So we've got the Beatles up. So if you go through, I'll just change the track on it and minimize it. You'll see we actually have. I still have my normal player, but I have the Pandora icon down now. The Beatles is going to change the track, and as new tracks come on, we'll start getting notifications at the bottom of what the new uh, song that they're coming in is. So we just start and you have to show it up on it. So you actually get notifications as the songs come in just to see what the titles are as they start. It'll come up again with a little icon, so if I hit the Pandora icon, I can go through, I can pause it, or I can rate the Pandora songs. Again, we're giving a lot of controls to the developers so they can hook in, again, the media app is right above it so that they basically have the same controls we do. And it depends what they want to build into it. I'll go through and pause this guy. And again, anything that's just we showed before, just flipping the device up or the applications off the screen, we'll go through and close them. Um, other app we have, let's bring up Sprint TV, sorry. So Sprint TV, again, we're, we're working with Sprint, we're using the network on it. Um, this is actually allows me to go and either bring uh, on-demand or live television down to the device. Let's click on live TV, let's see what's on today. We were watching Desperate Housewives yesterday, so we'll figure nice. something else out today. <laughs> uh, it's the ABC in the morning. This is again coming over all the network and just pulling it down. So we'll go through and cache it in the buffer and then start playing the music or playing the video on it. Are you currently on Wi-Fi or, or Sprint? I'm on Wi-Fi right now. We can switch it over to Sprint. Um, basically works either way on it. So we're using an EVDO and we've got um, Rev A on it. So it's a definitely good for where you're going. And in this case, if you go through and when you want to minimize it, all we do is, again, we'll close it down, we'll go back to the catalog because we want, the video doesn't make sense to have it running in the background. Um, so we, we basically let you have all the pieces on here, you've got all the cards. Again, as you're going through, if you want to move cards around, just like a desktop, you reorder them. Um, as we talked before, if you want to bring them back, you just click on it and bring whatever it is back up on the device. <laughs>so when it's in, basically when it's lock mode, you have a little lock button on it. If you click on it, click on it, you'll say drag to unlock. You just drag it up outside and it'll open the device up. Hmm. Simple and effective. Now, does the uh, unlock screen display anything besides the time? Um, so it usually it'll show notifications if you turn it on to have it show notifications. Okay. So that as notifications come up, um, we'll leave it in the unlock state. The notification will pop up on the screen and then it'll black out after I think five or so seconds. Okay, gotcha. Um, the other thing on it, if you have it on a touchstone, we'll put it into a partial, re a partial refresh mode so that you still, you'll basically see a light version of the unlock screen, but you'll see the time on it. So I tend to use it as a clock on my desk right gotcha. now. <laughs>